Howdy, and welcome back to Disco Elysium with Wicked Storm Gaming. We're looking at maps in a bookstore with a lady who's desperate to sell us books, and we have 15 sets. We can't afford shit. This large map displays archipelagos. Nice. We see a constellation of small dots on the light blue emptiness of the Insulindic Ocean. The largest in the northeast is La Caillou. You are here. Nice. Another far away in the southwest, Seminese Islands, Ile de Fantôme. What? Just not a fantôme. Ozon, Laurentide, Fas Alamir, Archipelagos, North Arcade Islands. All just specks of dust on the vastness of the Insulindic. On the edges of the map, the color fades into a blur of dotted lines, black and white. In the northeast, a dust mite stands on the north coast of Caillou in a bookstore it's you <gasps> no radiating outwards from you uh -oh. the suzerain river shore with a radius of 80 kilometers still the crown jewel of this isola would be barely visible can i see cities on this island on caillou river shore a single black star on ozon fondelier and vimandu on archipelagos Croyan Moran, Villiers, on Seminine, Aldivai, and on Laurentide, Deora of the Seven Seas. Hmm. Lost little pearls of light, tiny fires in the dark. I fucking love the art in this game. The ocean breaks apart into a tangle of cosines and azimuths, all pointing into pale nothingness. Windy is the north azimuth. Grad is the northeast azimuth. Samara is the east azimuth. Seo is the west azimuth. Isolas, they're called. Yeah, I'm sure this is gonna come handy at some point, but I'm just not gonna remember any of this. Connections to other worlds. Oh. Words past the Insulindian, unknown to you. You only know you've never been there. You have little idea what they are. Distant stars gods but looking at them makes you feel almost non-existent whatever they are the isolas are immeasurably large compared to you and very very far away i failed oh no perhaps they are gods ah, I gods again. of distance and outer dust no not the distant gods the north coast of a verdant island is shattered by the delta of a river it is the river esperance Countless bridges put the shards back together, connecting city blocks to river islands. La Delta says a great artificial heart in the center, teeming with life forms and construction. Right. To the east, rolling hillsides, Le Jardin, Stella Marie, the suburbs of Saint Baptiste, swallowed up into the mega city. They sound rich to you. This is Rivershall East. Where was it she wanted to move to? Houdon. It's somewhere to live. Not bad. Then there's Jamrock. It's bad. Mm. People shouldn't live there, but they do. Then Forberg. It's almost as bad and much larger. Then Coal City. It's the worst. I like how we go from it's bad to it is bad to it's not quite as bad, and then it's just fucking terrible. You feel you're just west. There is no Coal it's City. good. Somewhere above Jamrock and close to Coal City. Okay. It's not really a map. Oh. It's a tourist thing. A picture postcard that's with less things on it. Drawn from an isometric perspective. A date in the upper right corner says 48. 48. Still, it's detailed. Could be pretty useful for scouting ahead. You see the jagged boxes of an industrial harbor. Even the whirling in rags there. Ooh. I'm sorry, officer. The map of Martinez is the only one available. The other two are not for sale anymore. And besides, you could scarcely afford them. How do you know I only have 15 cents? They're quite valuable, though they might not look it. The map of Martinez is 90 cents, though. That old thing? It's an out-of-date map of a tourist location that never was nor came to be. Hmm. From when some design studio people tried to spruce the place up four or five years ago, they also renovated the horse statue, set up those coin-operated viewers, and designed the new street lamps. 
They didn't get that far, for some reason. A shame the project never got going. Would be nice if someone fixed Martinez up. All these ruins are bad for business. Then why'd you set up business here? Slowly, Shit. you move your hand toward the map attached to the board. Before you even reach the map, you're interrupted. Hmm. <clears throat> Perhaps not. It's against RCM policy to defraud small business owners. Oh, he's trying to steal it? I need to read before I click things. Mm. This bookstore well, is safe. not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranatural literature. Oh, yeah. Come, sir, please, no browsing in that shelf. That wisdom is not for free. Mm. I can't have you end up, like, opening a police store next door and stealing my customers. Oh, no. What? How would this lead to me opening a police store? What the hell even is a police store? Amidst the various books, you find one written by someone named Matthias W. Dundas. Oh. It's about wholeness, unity, balance. Oh yeah, live, laugh, love. The point of the book, and many others on this shelf, is to give people medicinal advice in situations where they don't have access to paid health services. Hmm. It serves platitudes, while also telling everyone that traditional medicine, the kind people don't have access to, and which costs more than this book, is garbage, and would only give you cancer anyway, without even curing your cold or anything. Okay, so it's like the fucking essential Wholeness, oil bullshit. Unity, balance. Yeah, live, On life, love. Hand, <laughs> can basically take care of anything, though it is important to note yeah. When it's up to your mind to heal yourself, then it's because of your mind that you're ill in the first place. The book features chapters on topics such as how to find magnesium. It even lists plants you can harvest magnesium from. Okay. How to continue drinking if you're an alcoholic who has destroyed his liver. And there's even a chapter on the ancient Serais tradition of using duck gold bladder okay. preservatives to treat and prevent sexually transmitted diseases pre and post factum apply nothing worth buying this is just mundane garbage what's even paranatural about this oh i'm very high on this one nice you mean some supernatural the shit in your head increases with every passing moment you gaze at this shelf uh oh suddenly as if out of nowhere a small green book becomes apparent the title of it reads medicinal purposes of the pale the fuck's the bail? The book contains very little explanation on the matter. This knowledge seems to be taken for granted. Well, that's not helpful. The book contains descriptions of various pseudo-scientific therapies, alternative medicines, and folk remedies involving the pale, also known as Le Territoire. Yeah, I've been getting very Call of Cthulhu vibes this entire time, and this is For example, in the right direction. It recommends vigorously swatting one's naked body with a venic or hand broom, made from the leafy twigs of a young birch tree from the near pale. The near pale. Who's Even the pale? better if you can find someone else, preferably a large man dressed in nothing but a towel, to thrash you while you're spread naked and helpless on a cool slab. This is some kind of medicine. It is. And mm. good for the circulation, too. How is it now? It also recommends consuming distilled spirits like vodka or whiskey that have been aged in the pail. What the Readers fuck is the pail? To cover these jars in a shallow hole just inside the pail. Okay. And leave them there for 30 to 60 days, depending on the potency desired. Among other benefits, it is alleged to restore a damaged liver to perfect health. Well, if that worked, that'd be amazing. Should probably get my hands on some of that water else is in there. How is that possible? Is it any more improbable than anything else that human beings put their faith in? Eh. For general health and well-being, readers are encouraged to take regular strolls through the pal. What? The Though fuck is the pale? Ocean's readers to limit each stroll to less than an hour. Ooh. These strolls promise to cleanse the mind of worries and the body of toxins, 
especially if the perambulator performs this ritual in the new. Okay. Nudity figures prominently in a number of these prescriptions. The fuck is the bail? This is exactly what you need. To streak in the park? I don't know. I don't want to be the party pooper, but this pale territory sounds sort of dangerous. Maybe you shouldn't walk in it naked. Considering they're putting a hard hour time limit on it? Yeah. There's an entire section devoted to cures for men who are struggling to perform their marital obligations. Well, I don't need that. I'm a superstar. You close the book and return it to its place on the shelf. kind of want the pale book because it's the closest thing to something supernatural and stupid we've found so far another book just discarded here well that's unfortunate do we know this one hey book bros here very colorful i'm already zoomed all the way out run that's what i want do, 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 do. You don't see me. Very sneaky. You see a <gasps> set of tattered curtains blocking the way to another room. A strange cage-like trinket dangles from the curtains. Oh, tra cage trinket kind of set off a flag for Excuse me. Excuse me, officer. I didn't do it. The back room is strictly for employees only. You didn't see shit. It. Those curtains give off some eerie vibes. Better not mess with it. Definitely pulling open the curtains. Be wary of those mysterious ornaments from the dark aisles. See, again, now we're getting into kind of spooky shit. Do you realize what's out there? Upon the mist shrouded islands of Ile de Fantôme in Seminine, eerie pygmies and wild shamans practicing unnatural mysticism. They lurk in the tropical pearl of Seminine, casting strange magics on everyone. Ignore the curtains. Or suffer the consequences. Yeah, I'm kind of doing all I fucking can to get all as much creepy shit as I can in this. Oh, examine the strange thing. You see some kind of charm. An Ooh. irregular polyhedron assembled from bones, bones, sticks, and straw. What? Inside, a disturbing fish head with empty eye sockets stares at you. I don't see that shit. What the fuck? Aside from poking at it suspiciously, there is nothing else to do with the fish head charm at this time. The curtains remain shut before you. Nothing. Now please go back to browsing the books. Don't you feel compelled to look at the books? The books are all you care about. Don't try to brainwash me. This is the creepiest thing Oddly in this enough, store. The more she tries to draw you away from the curtains, the more alluring they become. We're doing it. Just as you're about to pull apart the curtains, the petrified voice of the shop owner cries out once more. Sir, don't touch that. I told you it's off limits for the customers. Mm. Parapsychologically speaking, we're done if you decide to open them. I won't be held responsible for the consequences. It's too dangerous. This is like having a big neon sign that just screams, fucking open me. She looks away, mumbling. Why is everyone always messing with the curtains? Why can't they just buy books like normal people? Because you got big spooky curtains here. Like if it was a big heavy door, that'd be one thing. A curtain is very easily just kind of peeked into. Why? It's not like anyone was killed there. Oh, someone was killed here. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so impolite. Just please don't go there. I can't allow that. You'll look no, it's just a storeroom for the employees. I told you. Mm, now, you didn't tell me. Away from the curtains. You just kept saying, stay away from the curtains. I can't be held responsible for what happens and shit. Eh? He's calling to me. I must investigate beyond the threshold. You do? <gasps> My God, even more reasons not to mess with the curtains. Just step away, dear sir. We're opening these fucking curtains. No! Yes! Please just talk to me, officer. Come here and let's talk this through before you decide to do anything extreme. Yes, extreme is opening a curtain. Lies. 
Rip them open, we say. Last time I listened to you, I drop kicked an old lady in a wheelchair. There is something mysterious about the curtains. Be careful. Still not sure about you. The big exploded galaxy head is very concerning. The though. curtains, tattered with age and covered in dust, hang before you, as if taunting you. For now. Kim, what do you think about these curtains? Yes. Nothing. All right. I need to speak to you about these curtains. These curtains are going to be opened. This is the last chance for you to tell me shit. Hello again, esteemed officer, and welcome to Crime Roma- I already told you, it's just a storage room for employees. I don't understand why it's so important to you. Because you're being a spastic weirdo about Let's it. let it go, officer. Go buy some no! damn books. You're supposed to be drawn to the books. What the fuck is a Seminese ward? Just sort of then it wouldn't hurt if I just took a peek inside. It's not like it's cursed, right? No! <gasps> she wavers under your gaze. Mouth pressed into a tight lip. Frown. She breaks okay, down. Okay, fine. It's just because this place is cursed. Just like everyone said. Mm. They don't call it the doomed commercial area for nothing. Are you happy now, officer? Happy that you've ruined everything? Take it easy. You've broken her resistance. Pushing her further will gain nothing. The curse is so much worse than you could imagine. It's a disease eating at the very foundation. Then we probably shouldn't be in this building. Shiver runs through the wood as she looks around it's the nebulous door. Of financial distress, <gasps> ruin, and bankruptcy. She peers at the curtains Didn't again. Didn't that curtain just move? It's like fucking what? It's hidden behind the chat window. I can't see it. A little confused. What does that mean? Financial troubles. Wait, is it? I was hoping for something more. Paranatural. Everyone knows that all the previous companies in this building have sooner or later declared bankruptcy. And their malicious spirits are still here. Feeding off bad business practices and disappointing income statements. Mm. There's something wrong with this building, I can tell you. Ever since I arrived, I've sensed an eerie lingering presence. As if I was unwanted here. Sounds familiar. Hmm. Truly so? Perhaps the dark energies are leeching off you. You shouldn't stay in the store too long. It may be dangerous. It's not good to talk about the curse, not in detail. The negativism, it's dangerous. Talking about the void wraiths angers them. I don't understand. It's like it's, she, like, I assume knew about this curse when she moved in. Someone had to have told her about it, otherwise she wouldn't fucking know about it. So why did she move in? It's not like this is the only building around. Like, from that phone thing we were doing, it seems like there's like eight other fucking buildings that are just abandoned she could have bought and moved into. Such wraiths may prove a formidable enemy. Suit up. With what? All I got is a hat and some rubber gloves. Yes, mm. I've contacted numerous parapsychologists and even a pair of Simonese mediators. They provided me with the wards. Strange keys are trinket on the curtains. Okay. The wards help to keep the doom at bay and protect us against the darkness that lies further in the building. Even though now I fear it's not enough. Yeah, a ward as well. Oh, this? No, it's a special Hymian amulet. Blessed by desert pygmy shamans with a spell of compulsion, it's to compel people to buy books. What is she just talking about shitty business practices? She's trying to brainwash people into buying her shit? There are numerous spells cast throughout the store. I had the books anointed with a different inducement spell, for example. Mm. It's guaranteed to boost sales 15%. Oh, is it now? Take a uh, take the case. I could investigate. See if the curse is real. Most certainly not. Mm. I don't want anyone who's not familiar with the psychic arts to get involved in this mess. Stay away. Leave the spirits be, so they can return to their slumber. We need to tear down psychic the curtains. arts. Sounds right down our alley. Oh, we can do it. Hello, Tanita. You're a master of the psychic arts. I'm a master. Uh, yeah. Okay, but please, only a few questions. You wouldn't... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me in! 
Time to fire what? up the old lie machine. How did I fail that? No. <laughs> oh. The lieutenant looks at you, waiting to see where this is going. For as much of a stick in the mud as he, like, comes off at, he is weirdly okay with just going along with my bullshit. You've got this. Just go with it. This is elegant. <laughs> crime bros, not a Kim. We're called crime bros, my partner and I. Wait, that's it? I didn't want to say that. Crime bros! Crime bros! What is this, a joke, Mr. Policeman? Do you commit crimes together or what? No, we we solve that before you can see a small hint of a smile. He's struggling to not crack up. I love Kim. <laughs> Came out wrong. No, it's not like this. We're called crime bros because we like to solve crimes as brothers in arms. Sir, I really don't have time for your jokes. The situation is very serious. Oh, man. I really wanted to fucking go to that curse. Okay, but please. The woman. I can't aloof. believe I failed that. Her features much softer. Occasionally, she glances at her daughter's silhouette. Damn it. Give me a germ down. The curtains, tattered with age and covered in dust, hang before you, as if taunting you. God, it's tempting. I can't level up right now, can I? No. I need 70 more. Shit. Alright. Well, for now, like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you want. Share it if you can. And do what you want. I got a little drama to do that. <sighs> Play the actor. Lie and detect lies. Mm. Anyways. Share the Patreon if you want to support the channel, and I'll see you next time. Have fun.